Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video what I want to show you is how you can convert a US currency value formatting which is generally in millions and billions a by default setting you have in Power BI to something which is called in an Indian currency value where you have lakhs or crores is something where Indian businessmen basically identify in terms of how much value they are doing. For example, I'm doing a business of 20 lakh or I'm doing a business of 2 crore. That's how ye, they uh, usually identify compared to the US currency. And when you know this setting, not only the Indian currency, but any other currency of across the world, you can convert it and uh, show your dashboard like this. So I recently found this. Uh, how you can do this? Well, I was working on a use case. So I thought I'll share with you as well. Um, before I go ahead, just a quick information that if you have landed very first time on my channel, then you should know about this Google Sheet for which the link is present in description. Here I keep all the videos uh, that I have published so far where you can come easily search any of this video and jump on to the YouTube using the link which is presented column B. That way any video, any dashboard, any case study I have produced is present over here and I will continue to update it so that you can bookmark it and come over here whenever you are searching anything you can find it very easily rather than going through the entire video on my channel. So this is just to help you in case you are looking for more information, more examples, more scenarios. With that let's go back. Okay so here I am and uh, the way we want to create this calculation is so what I have done is I have created this calculation as you can see sales formatted and that's the same calculation we will going to create it again. And to create this, first of all, we will go into the new measure. In the new measure, we will start replicating the calculation for this. So where it is coming over here? No, this is not where we want to create. We want to create it in a right table, which is this one order table. And the link for this data set is also present in description. There you will find a folder called Power BI and the data set is present if you are wondering what data set I am using. Okay, so I'm clicking over here, new measure, and in the new measure, I will say formatted sales hash. That's usually the indication that it is a measure when I keep hash as a prefix. Formatting Indian currency, and then what you have is we will first of all we will create a variable. I press Alt Enter, var variable, and then sales. Uh, current sales is equals to nothing but sum of sales that is this and then you go to the variable which is result and in that now depends on what the value is if it is in lakhs you will say formatted lakhs if it is in crores you will say crores if it is in thousand you will say thousand so you can do that so how we can do that is using because we have multiple situations like a if else condition if it is this then do this if it is this then do this so what we will going to do is we will create a switch statement where we will write SWI switch that condition will always true right there will be one or the other value so that's why it is true switch true and we will say current sales come on yes current sales is greater than and equals to First of all, for crore. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 zeros is basically equals to 1 crore. Then we will simply say divide current sales by those 7 values, or 7 zeros. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. And close this. And you will say ampersand and CR okay the only thing is when you divide it will come into a certain house certain with a certain decimal point so you want to restrict that so you will say round round it to maybe one decimal so one decimal and close this okay so that's what we are doing and comma and I'll copy this because I have to repeat it so if it is greater than thousand uh, one crore then do this Alt enter. What would you do when it is 1 lakh? So remove 2 zero. 
five zeros should be there. So one, two, three, four, five. Five zeros are there, and we will simply say lakhs or whatever you want. L K is earlier I have given. Alt Enter, Control V, Control V. This time thousand K, right? You will say K. You will say thousand. Up to you. But I am giving you. this way you can produce anything otherwise simply say current sales that means it's in hundreds or tens of values so simply current sales and alt enter and close this alt enter return what do you return result right and press enter so that is your hash formatting indian currency which is now come over here i can come and i will simply say this and then i will say come over here so 0.2 lakhs right so this is nothing but uh, right now what we are having is uh, 23.3 lakh 2.33 is basically your value so i'll just go and quickly see yes this is where i've also have to reduce over here 1000 right that's why i was wondering why it is wrong So, if it is greater than one lakh, then one lakh. If it is greater than thousand, thousand. If it is greater than one crore, one crore. Dividing by one crore. Now it will come proper. That was the step I was not performing. So now coming back, twenty-three point three lakh, twenty-three point three lakh, two point three three million. If it is in US, right? So that way, let's say you are creating a dashboard where your audience in five different countries, and you want to create this type of a way. then you can do this right so one of this thing another challenge i want to give you now the challenge is something like this the challenge is i have like i said i have us based audience i have indian audience for indian audience i want to show it lakhs i want to for us audience i want to show it millions what you need to do is and that is something i teach in my training about these advanced use cases what would you do is you will have the uh, the lakh the indian currency and us currency written over here like a two buttons you will click on this button this value will show in indian currency you will click on us button and that will show in a us currency tell me how would you do that and then i will uh, i will basically understand that you have you have really achieved the advanced power bi um, training so scenarios but if you need this training you can come and join me where i cover 10 such dashboards where i take scenarios like this and take your skills to a next level dynamic more dynamic then more dynamic you know you can achieve whatever you want after pretending that so that's my objective when i give my training but I, this is about the formatting and dynamic formatting how you can do that and surprise your audience with that thank you so much and i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic